Hello dear student, this is Mural Ma'am from MD Rizal classes. Today we are going to learn very important topic of decision science or operation research. Let's start. Here I mentioned some of the topics related to operation research and decision science which are very important and you have to do much more and more practice. So you will get to the final conclusion and will get good score definitely. So let us start our main topic. This is the question number 1 of simulation. A bakery keeps stock of a popular brands of cakes. Previous experience shows the daily demand pattern for the cakes with associated probability. So here daily demand and probabilities are given. We have to use the 10 random numbers as I mentioned below. See here they mention the random numbers and by using this we have to simulate the demand for the next 10 days. So first of all remember this point that simulation means estimation or forecasting for the future. So what we have to find out by using this 10 random numbers which is mentioned uh, below the question. By using that, that random numbers, we have to find out how much demand will become in the next 10 days. Also, they ask the find, to find out the average demand per day. So, this is the question. Uh, read again. A bakery keeps stock of popular of, uh, brands of cakes. Previous experience shows the daily demand pattern and probabilities are given associated with probabilities. Okay? So, how to solve this question? See the solution. Here the method we are going to use for simulation is Monte Carlo simulation method. First of all by using this method we have to make the simulation chart. Make 4 columns, 2 columns as it is given in the question you have to copy as it is. First 2 columns, 3rd and 4th column we have to find it out. So, daily demand 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Probabilities are also given in the question. Write down as it is. Make the third column cumulative probability and fourth one is random number interval. So, how to find out cumulative probability? First of all, write down first probability as it is and add remaining probabilities. So, you will get 0 0.01 plus 0 0.20 you will get 0 0.21 again in 0 0.21 add 0 0.15 you will get 0 0.36 in 0 0.36 add 0 0.50 you will get 0 0.86 and so on finally you will get 1 as a total always remember at the end of the cumulative probability there will be one always that is considered as a total of probability and total of the probability is always one. See next column, column number fourth, random number intervals. How to make this? What is this actually? So in this we are going, going to make some groups like 0 to 10, 10 to 20 but here we have to consider cumulative probability to find out the upper limit of this class. Random number classes or interval always start with 0 and ends on 99. So what we have to do is exclude these points and consider only these remaining values to find out the upper limit of class. Always subtract 1 from this you will get 0 here. So your first class will come 0 to 0. Now, second class will start with 1. 21 minus 1 will come 20. So, put this 20 as the upper limit of this class. Again, next class will start as uh, 21 minus 1, 35. So, upper limit is 35 this class. So, minus 1, 85, minus 1, eight, uh, 90, uh, 7, minus 1, 99. Okay. So, you have to place as a upper limit here. So, this is very simple procedure. You can do it easily. Random number intervals. After that, you have to make one more chart. 
this one is basic one monte carlo simulation method simulation chart and after that we have to use these random numbers what we have to do is by using this random number we have to find out first random number interval and related to that what will be the daily demand that is the thing we have to find out in this question so see here question of uh, uh, 25 this 25 belongs to 21 and 35 group so daily demand of that group is 20 39 belongs to 36 and 85 group that's daily demand is 30 65 belongs to 36 and 85 group so all, again its demand is 20, uh, 30 and so on you have to find out the classes intervals and related daily demand and by using this you have to make another chart this is here so they asked us to find out the or simulate the demand for next 10 days so what we did we made first column for days 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 random numbers as it is written over here we find out the random number interval here you can put random number interval and associated daily demand of this so how to find out is uh, daily demand find out first random number intervals and associated daily demand so compare your last column with the first column in the simulation chart you will get this all so this is the answer of your first question that is similar demand for the next 10 days also they asked us in this question find out the average demand per day so what we have to do is we have to make the total of this last column that is daily demand the total of this will be 240 you can write uh, that total like this okay i wrote here 240 divided by 10 why we took 10 because 10 random numbers or 10 days data is available answer will occur 24 units so this is all about the simulation question number one in the next session we will start with the question number two and three for more practice so don't forget to subscribe our uh, channel so you will get more and more video thank you so much